Our team saw an opportunity to allow people seeking professional development to be easily connected with the people that have an opportunity to offer. We identified the need to facilitate the matching process with less administration for large corporate function or an entire company. We started by matching mentors with mentees and then expanded to other types of hands-on professional development postings that people could apply for. The benefit of this system allows self-service professional development while still allowing central administration to oversee the process. We see a lot of ways this solution could be built out further and would be able to easily adapt to the unique needs of your company. We are pleased to present to you our professional development app. Welcome to a quick overview of the professional development program uh, created by Team HR in the Onnit system. Uh, what you're currently looking at is a portal page within the Onnit system where different people, individuals can come in and apply to be a mentee, apply to be a mentor, or create cross-functional project opportunities where mentees can join and help other areas of the company. So first we're gonna create a mentor application within the system. One would go to submit a mentor application by clicking on this button. Uh, once the button has been clicked, a new window will pop up uh, and this would be the window. I've filled out the information uh, just to speed up the overview. We have Dwight Schrute applying to be a mentor today. He's filled out all his information here, uh, provided a little bit of his bio and why he wants to be a mentor and his areas of interest, uh, some fun details, and then of course uh, he can select uh, different hobbies. So we'll select the different hobbies and click submit. Now that Dwight has applied to be a mentor, it now goes to Toby to review his application. Toby will get an email notification. He would then log into the system, come to Dwight's record, review it, and if everything looks good, Toby can simply click approve, and Dwight is now officially a mentor in our professional development program. Now I'm gonna click out of here, go back to the portal page, and here a mentee could come in, I'll log into the system, and click submit a mentee application. Once they submit, a new window will appear. This window will look like this. So we have a mentee application form that Jim Helpert has already filled out. Uh, he's filled out all his information is about me, uh, his current department, some additional details, and of course, what he's looking for and his hobbies. And then finally, below here, we have areas of interest that are required uh, because we can actually use these area of interest and match up their areas of interest with different cross-functional project opportunities in the system. So we can select marketing, perhaps legal, and say finance, and click submit. And now Jim has applied to be a mentee in the mentor program. On submission, Toby would also receive an email that Jim has applied to be a mentee in the program. Toby would come into the system, review all the information, if everything looks good, not only can Toby add Jim to the program, but also match up Jim with a mentor. So the next step here would be for Toby to review everything, a look at what they're looking for, and then go to actually add a mentor here. So we'll add a participant. We'll add Dwight Schrute to the application, click mentor, click submit. And now Dwight is now a participant down below here. And Toby can say, yep, this is now a active mentee mentor uh, record. So now we have the active phase here. So Jim is now fully onboarded. He is now paired up with Dwight. We can also associate the two records together. So if we look for Dwight in the system, we can match him up and click relate. And now the two uh, records are related. There are a few other bells and whistles on the mentee area. So the mentee can go in here. Jim can go in here and add a goal. We'll maybe increase sales. And we'll have a start goal of today and an end of year end and click submit. And those goals will not only appear on Jim's homepage in his dashboard, which we'll show you in a minute, but also on Dwight's homepage. So we have goals here. We also have some check-in notes. So if the mentor or mentee wants to make some notes, you can do that right here. And of course they can add as many check-in notes as possible. And then finally, uh, I won't fill this all out, but periodically a mentor can come in here and add a mentee evaluation where the mentor can fill out their information, provide feedback, and then they can also fill out the scores here. 
Uh, so we've made it score based so you can run analytics and you can just run the statistics based on the evaluation here. And click submit. And so now we have an evaluation. Uh, and this evaluation is also viewable by the HR department. So that is just a quick overview of all the interesting things you can do in the mentee uh, record. You can also, if we shoot over to Dwight's record, the mentor record, there's not nearly as much, uh, but we can also you know, add comments here and do other things like that. We can then, uh, we'll go back to the uh, portal pane here and do the last thing to submit a cross-functional project. So really anyone in the company can come in here if they're looking for other individuals outside of their department, they can come in here, click submit a cross-functional project. It will pull up a new window and it will be a form. So I've already started filling out some of the information because it is a little time consuming. Uh, we filled out uh, that Michael Scott is creating a cross-functional project. Uh, we're doing the golden ticket giveaway uh, where we, you know, we're going to do a marketing campaign. Uh, we'll, we have selected the type of project as marketing, the location, the dates, and so on, and click submit. And now a cross-functional project opportunity has been created. Now the cool thing about this is we, uh, we look at the type of project here, marketing, and then we look at all the mentees in the system and who's ever selected uh, marketing as their top three will actually get an email notification uh, sent out to them. So we'll, we have a little matching that goes on here where it says, hey, hey Jim, uh, we see that, and you can see right here, hey Jim, uh, there's a cross-functional project opportunity uh, and they'll be notified via email and then they can come into the system to actually apply for it. Uh, so they can come in the system, they can go to their dashboard, they can see their projects, and then they can come in here and apply for the project. Uh, so I'll just put Jim Alpert right here. And then he'll just fill out this quick application here. And now the project application start, uh, can start rolling in. Uh, Michael Scott can come in here, uh, decide who he wants to assign to this project. Uh, you can go to, of course, add a participant. We'll add Jim as the project assignee. You could have multiple project assignees if you'd like. And of course, they would get an email notification they were assigned to the project. And then we can say, now this project is active and all this information will, will flow to their dashboards. So this is the third part of the professional development program where uh, cross-functional project opportunities can be submitted uh, and we can bring on mentees and even mentors can come in uh, and uh, apply and partake in different projects. Uh, there's also, we're also leveraging the, the project check-in notes here where you can go in and add additional project notes uh, for, for the project. And then of course, once the project is complete, they can hit the, the complete button here. So lastly, just wanna go over uh, a couple of the dashboards. So we have some cool little dashboards. We have a, a mentee dashboard that we've created. Uh, so the mentee dashboard, when they log in, they would see their goals, uh, any goals that are on hold, completed goals, um, projects to review, assigned projects, and so on. And so a bunch of great information for the mentees. Uh, for the mentors, when they log in, they can see any projects they've created, uh, any projects that are active, that are completed. They'll have some statistics right here on their, all their projects, um, all their mentees, their mentees goals, their projects, and, and any new mentees in the system, just in case they're looking for additional people to uh, mentor. And then finally, we have the HR dashboard. The HR dashboard is a combination of everything that's going on in the system. Uh, they'll be able to see a little bit more, the evaluations, the things like that. Uh, so we have all the pending mentees and the pending mentors and the active mentees and active mentors. And of course, uh, some nice little graphs here of what's all going on in the system. And then uh, finally, of course, they can, uh, the, the HR folks can dig into the data further so they can look at all the mentors in the system, all the projects in the system, uh, the mentees in the system, and then of course the uh, evaluations. Uh, so thanks for uh, reviewing. A uh, quick little overview of our um, professional development program and on it, uh, vote for us. Thank you.